Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, as I follow up to my two previous videos on the Linux command line, today I would like to look at pipes and redirection. So if you'd like to know more about pipes and redirection on the Linux or Unix command line, please let me explain. Okay, so the basic idea on Linux and on Unix is that the output of one program can become the input to another program. So here I've gone to user slash bin, I've typed in ls minus one to give me a one column command of all the files, and there are lots of them in here, and there are too many. I've, I'm here at the end towards the alphabet, S, T, U, V, but I don't know what was at the beginning. So what you can do with pipes is you can say, use a pipe, and I'm using that, vertical bar character, which is often found by the enter key over to the right hand side of your keyboard, pipe that into the less program. And so the output of ls becomes the input to less, which means now I can see this file one or this output uh, one screen at a time just by pressing the space bar. Now I'd just like to apologize if you think my uh, speech is a little funny. I'm in the middle of some dental work. Hopefully within a week it should all be sorted. So let's carry on. We can also now use a program called strings, which actually pulls out all the strings from a file. And if I now do strings Python 2.7, we can see here all the different strings that are inside of that file. But again, they all whizzed past way too quickly. So I can take the output of strings and make it the input of uh, less. And now I can see these strings one screen at a time by just hitting the space bar. But of course, some of these uh, things here are a bit funny, you know, kind of dot init, dot text, dot finny. So what you can actually do is you can use another command called grep. Now grep will search through the input stream and find strings that match the string that you give it. So if I say grep the, it will actually only find the strings that have got the in it. And now we can see that we're seeing a whole bunch of actual sentences with the word the in it. So return a copy of the hash object that one here okay so that's now a nice uh, sentence because it had the word the in it but of course it all went past again way too quickly so you can actually combine pipes so we've had one pipe now let's use a second pipe and a third command and we can do less so strings python.2.7 will find all of the strings inside of the python program it, it will then pipe that into grep which will then search for all the strings that have the word the in it it will then uh, send that into less. And so now we can see all of those strings one page at a time by using the uh, space bar. So there we go. We use two pipes, three programs and two pipes, and we chain them all together to do uh, one thing. Now we can also go back now to our home directory and we can do a similar thing called redirection. Now, there's a little uh, command called echo, which will basically print out something on the screen. So echo hello, and there we have hello. What I can do is I can say echo hello, and now I use the greater than sign saying redirect this to hello.text. So nothing now comes out on the screen, and what we'll actually see if we use cat, which means concatenate, concatenate the content of this file to the standard output, concatenate hello dot text and what we find is it has the word hello in it so by using echo hello and then redirection we've actually managed to put something into a text file and if i now do uh, uh, echo howdy into hello dot text what we actually find if we now concatenate hello dot text is that it has been replaced with the word howdy so when you're using redirection if the file already exists it will be overwritten now, another thing we can do with redirection is we can copy files. I can say now cat hello.txt and I can redirect that to howdy.txt. We don't get any output, but as you can see now, there is actually a file called a howdy. So we can actually concatenate that now. And look, it's got the word howdy in it because we go into a text editor as well. Concatenate is just a quick way of showing uh, what's there, there you go, howdy. So what we've actually done is I've managed to copy the content of hello.txt into howdy.txt by using concatenation and uh, redirection. Now, if I was now to say uh, echo welcome, and I use two greater than signs, that means don't overwrite the file, append to the file. So I can now say welcome 
uh, and add that to hello.text. Again, we don't get any output, but when I now look at hello.text, I've actually got the word howdy and then the word welcome because one was concatenated, uh, uh, appended to the end of the other one. And I can actually do the same thing with files. I can actually say uh, concatenate now hello.txt and add it to the end of howdy.txt. So by doing that, I'm actually uh, copying the contents of one file and adding it to the end of the other file. And now if we concatenate howdy.txt, we can see it's got howdy because that was the original text that was in there and then howdy and welcome which came across from the file uh, hello.txt. Uh, now we can actually use this for other commands for example we could do strings again on user bin uh, python uh, 2.7 okay and that just gives us this big long list but now in fact we could redirect that to temp.txt so we don't get any output but the output is now stored in this file temp.txt and of course we could look at that by using uh, less temp.txt which will give it to us one page at a time or concatenate temp.txt and pipe it into less it achieves the same uh, achieves the same thing now of course we can also now use our grep command so if we go back and find our redirection here we can now take the output of the strings command we can send it through a pipe to grep for the word the, and then we can redirect the output to tempt.txt. So again, we're not gonna get anything on the screen, but if we now look at tempt.txt, we can see it's just got all those uh, files, uh, strings with the word the in it. And of course, of course, I could now actually redirect that into less and see it one page at a time. And the advantage, of course, of this is that I don't have to run this command every time. Now I've got the answer in temp.txt. So imagine if you were searching a database or you were extracting some data from somewhere, you can redirect it into a file which comes your results file, which you can then email to somebody, you can store for later, whatever. You've now got the results permanently stored uh, in that file. Now, one more quick thing to show you on Linux. If you want to see the list of current running processes, you can do PS AUX. And there you get this big long list of all the processes that are running. But again, it all whizzed past way too quickly. So we can use a pipe to pipe that into less. And now we can see all those processes that are running one at a time. Of course, we could also use grep. So if I wanted to see which ones have been started by the user pi, because I'm on a Raspberry Pi here, sorry, grep pi, then now it only shows me, you can see here over on the right hand side, pi, the processes that have been started by pi doesn't show me the system processes. And again, of course, I could search for, you know, I could do that and pipe that into less so I can see that a page at a time. And if I was looking for a particular program like, oh, I wonder what the uh, secure shell uh, process is doing, then I can do that. And here we can see there is the secure shell uh, running their process ID 475 started by root. So of course, there's a whole bunch of uh, system management stuff I could do now around uh, this process. And I found it using PSA UX and then using grep through a pipe uh, to, to look for that. And of course, you can, of course, redirect these now to a file. So I could redirect that now to temp.txt and so on. And of course, now temp.txt has got that information. So you can use pipes and redirections uh, all together all the time. Well, my name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This video was about pipes and redirection. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe uh, and please share this video on social media. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.